invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as the story. Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, I'm a just to read your letter which is a comer today, and I'm glad to know you're feeling a fine. You write to how much you miss me, and how you want a picture of me to see how I'm a look. Well, Mamma Mia, you know Leo Luigi, his face is never change. You know that a picture of me as a little baby laying on a rug? Well, I'm a look exactly the same, just to put on a pair of pants. <laughs> Yes, Mamma Mia, I'm still got the brown eyes I'm a get from a you. The curly hair I'm a get from a papa. And the happy smile I'm a get from Uncle Pietro's a goat. <laughs> of course, I got my passport a picture that was taken of me when I'm a go to America. But you know what a passport picture is a look like? Remember that time we have a flood in our town? Well, on my passport picture, I'm a look like that sign that's to say, if this is a happen to you, call the Red Cross. <laughs> About a year ago, I'm almost to take a picture of myself. I'm a see a little boot that's to say, take you on a picture for 15 cents. <laughs> so I'm a walk in a side and a pull of the curtain. Sign is to say, turn the little chair around so it's a go higher, then sit down. And I put in the 15 cents. I think I'm going to turn it here too much, Mamma Mia. <laughs> the picture is a come out and all you can see is my shoes. <laughs> well, it's a time I should go on out to my night school class. I'm a want very much to send you a picture of me here in America. So I'm asking my teacher, Miss Spaulding, and maybe she's a helping me out there. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. All right, class. Quiet, quiet. That's better. That's better. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwick? Here. Yeah. Mr. Olson? There. Mr. Schultz? Yippee-i-yay. Mr. Schultz? Yippee-i-o. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, what's the big idea? No, I couldn't help it, Miss Spaulding. I was sitting on my seat, side saddle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fellow boobers. Who oh, would I be a sensation in a jukebox? <laughs> Mr. Schultz, fun is fun, but I won't have you disrupting the class. All right? Now we'll get on with our work. Uh, Miss Spaulding. Yes, Mr. Basco? Uh, Miss Spaulding, I'm a like a very much to take a picture of myself. What? Luigi, you don't have to take the picture of yourself. If you say you are present, Miss Spaulding takes your word for it. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, what am I going to do with you? Ooh, have I got a suggestion? <laughs> Mr. Schultz. No, it's no use to beg. I'm already married. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, one more interruption and I'll ask you to leave the room. Uh, Miss Balding, if you don't mind, I would like to inject my sentiment to... Mr. Schultz. We have come here to this night school class to learn something, and not to fool around. Thank you. Keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, what were you saying before about wanting to take our picture? Well, you see, uh, it's a long time when my mama no see me. I'm going to come to America, and she'll never see her since that time. And I want to take a picture in America and I send it to her. 
Well, Mr. Basco, I know that you write to her every week. Why don't you send her a picture in your next letter? That's right, Luigi. No matter how old you are, a mother is a mother and a child is a child. And she always wants a picture. Your hobby, your opinion, many of us the truth. When I come here from Sweden, the first thing I did was to send my mother a picture of me standing at the foot of the Statue of Liberty. Ooh, if that statue could only kick. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, that does it. You may leave this room at once. Oh, Miss Spalding, would you believe me if I told you I was sorry? Well... From the bottom of my heart, with all my feelings, with all my soul, I tell you, I am sorry. <laughs> tell, t- tell me, Miss Pauling, would you believe me if I said that? Well, yes. Who are you, Gulliver? <laughs> Schultz. And close the door behind you. What got into me today? I must have got a little for shimmer. <laughs> Class, maybe you can help me out. Where I can take a nicer picture of myself. Something that my mamma mia is going to like. Well, Mr. Basco, why don't you go to a good photographer? There must be a couple in the neighborhood. Photographer? Is it cost a lot of money? Luigi, I got just a photographer for you. Last year, he took pictures of my boy Stefan's bar mitzvah. Let's see. He took six pictures in the temple and six in the house. De- oh, wait. I forgot something. What the hell is it? Well, he wasn't doing so good in the photography business, so he sold the camera. And the pony he uses for children, ten cents a ride. That's so nice. Well, I thank you anyway, Horowitz. Miss Spalding, I got the apple for you. Could I please come in? No. Do apples. No. All right, you drive a hard bargain. I give you the whole push car. <laughs> Mr. Schultz. L- Luigi, why, why don't you just take a picture of yourself with a little camera? Well, uh, I'm not got the camera. Well, then buy one. That's only five or six dollars. They're real simple to operate. Maybe your friend Pasquale has one. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to ask Pasquale. Thank you, Classy. You always are helping me out. Miss Spalding. Yes? You've got to let me come in. Why must I let you in, you big baby? Because, baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale, maybe you'll do a big favor for me. I'm going to like to take a picture of myself. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you know what you look like? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Pasquale. I'm going to know. <laughs> you got a cabbage puss? <laughs> Eyes are like a two watermelon seed? <laughs> And in the middle is a hanging of your nose, like a banana. <laughs> oh, please. Please, Pasquale, you're making me blush. <laughs> I'm going to you should have snap a picture of me. Is it for my mom and me? Oh, is it for your mom? Oh, Luigi, you know why I'm just a plain little snapper shot. For you, mommy, you want something nice and a fancy, like a big portrait. But, Pasquale, I'm not got money for that. Luigi, go no further. You're speaking to all of Mr. Moneybugs himself. <laughs> I'm going to see to it. You're going to have a big, a beautiful picture from the finest of photographers. It's going to cost you nothing. Not a one lead cent. <laughs> <laughs> but, son, you do this for me? Sure. Now, Luigi, I'm going to do you a favor. <laughs> you do me a favor. <laughs> Sure, Pasquale. What the favor you want I should have do? Well, when are you standing in front of the photographer just to let another party stand next to you? Uh, well, all right, Pasquale. Who's the other party? My daughter, Rosa. Pasquale, I'm going to understand her. Why you want your daughter, Rosa, should be standing next to me? Luigi, you're talking a foolish. In every wedding the picture, the bride is standing next to the groom. <laughs> well, what do you say, my son? No, nothing to do with a papa. Besides, if I'm ever take a picture with a rose, she's so fat that you're never going to see me. 
Don't worry. I make it enlargement. I blow it up. <laughs> Pasquale, you blow up Russia and you push the United States and it to Canada. <laughs> Pasquale, believe me, Ross is not for me. No? Then who's she for? I don't know. I don't know either, so you stop. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, you could make your mama the happiest woman in Italy. If your mama was to get a wedding a picture of you standing next to Rosa, what do you think she'd think of? Jonah and the whale. Yes. <laughs> oh, Luigi, you're always making a fun about a rose as a fat. Let me tell you something. When you marry a girl, you should take all you can get for those lean years. <laughs> you know how they're talking about bad times? Comes a depression. You marry a skinny girl, you've got to work like a dog with a fever. My Rosa, she can go ten years without a... Pasquale, no matter what you say, Rosses are still away 250 pounds. Luigi, come here. I've never told you this before. There's something that might interest you. Rosses are away 250 pounds is true. Over here in America, is not much. But in England, the pound is worth the five dollars. So what? So what? Do you take a rose to England, you cash her in, and you come back a millionaire? <laughs> Me, a millionaire? Hoo-hoo, <laughs> you lucky pup for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Pasquale, please, you get me all mixed up. If you don't want to take a picture of me, I'm going out there now, buy my own camera, and take my own picture. All right, go, go, go. i got a good mind to... Uh, sit down, a little pumpkin ahead. <laughs> What's the use of wishing to have a hard feeling, eh? I'm glad to hear you talk like that, Pasquale. Sure. Luigi, I was just to have an idea. I'm a got a friend of mine. He's running one of the biggest picture studios in the country. You ever hear of Bruno of Hollywood? Huh? That's right. Well, if Tony Bruno is a countryman of mine. Uh -huh. So happens that he's a passionate true town, and I think for me, he's to give you special rates. Eight for a quarter. Eight for a quarter? Well, don't forget, those frames cost money. <laughs> Pasquale, that would be wonderful. And I'm going to have to marry Rosa. Oh, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Luigi, you're making me angry all the time talking about a Rosa. Now go, go, take a walk. By the time you come back, I'm going to have the address and everything for you. Go, 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 go. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. You always are so sweet to me. <laughs> I'm a sweet, all right. But when somebody's across from me, I'm a smell of worse than a five cent cigar. <laughs> Hello? Is it Tony there? Hello, Tony. I see your friend, Pasquale. Hey, Tony, tell me, what do you charge for a picture? Twenty-five dollars, eh? <laughs> hey, look, Tony, I'm sending a fella down the name of Luigi Bosco. Give him the best. Take about eight pictures and charge him four or five hundred dollars. Can he pay? Listen, Tony, this fella Bosco is owning so much oil wells out the west. When he's a walk into the California bank, everybody's to say, Here comes the Bosco the Gusher. Life with Luigi continues in just a moment, but first, one of your favorite young ladies returns to CBS tonight, and we say young lady advisedly because although she's only a teenager, her wisdom is that of a raffish matriarch. You remember Corliss Archer? Enough. All we need to add is that she'll be here again just a little later tonight, filling your hearts with laughter as she confuses everyone within earshot. And you'll find as well Hollywood comedian Eve Arden cutting another of her comic capers as our Miss Brooks, America's favorite schoolteacher. Corliss Archer and our Miss Brooks are Sunday night features on most of these same CBS stations. And now for the second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy.
And if so, Mamma Mia, I'm never thought that a getting a picture for you would have make me so much the trouble. I'm a go to this Bruno fellow Pasquale is a sending me to, and he's a asking me how many proofs I'm a want. I'm a tell him I'm a no have to have a proof. If he says he's taking my picture, I'm a believe him. <laughs> then he's asking me what kind of pictures I want, the four by five, or five by seven, or eight by ten. I'm a tell him would be all right if he's ready Tuesday by nine. <laughs> Then I'm going to give him a quarter. He's going to say, is it too small a deposit? I'm going to say, what the deposit? That's to perforate the pictures. The next thing I know, I'm out in the street. Anyway, I'm sitting here worrying what to do, thinking maybe I should go out and buy a four or five dollar camera, when I suddenly open up the door and a bigger wind is it come in. <laughs> Luigi! Well, Luigi, you got us some nice pictures? No. What? Oh, Pasquale, you fixed me good. You told me pictures was a cost me only eight for a quarter. Your friend is a throw me out because he's a charge you must more. I'm never listening to you again. I wait a minute, Luigi. Uh, uh, what time you went to Bruno? Oh, it was about a few minutes uh, before six or after Well, six. no wonder. You went there after the prices have changed. <laughs> Pasquale, I don't care what's uh, happened. I'm going to go out right now and buy a little camera. Wait till you walk out of this store. It's a 20 years in a jailer for you. Huh? What the for, Pasquale? Immigrant to buy in a camera without a license. <laughs> license? So, sure. don't you know in this country everything is a run by a license? Man can't write the poetry unless he's a take out a poet's license. <laughs> Fellow who's a fighter for a living, he's a lick of people, he's got to have a liquor license. <laughs> Even a dog can't be a dog in America unless he's got a dog alive. <laughs> Mamma mia, there's so much to learn. Pasquale, where I can get a license to buy a camera? FBI, Photo Bureau of Investigation. <laughs> but, uh, Luigi, even if I'm going to use a pull with the FBI and get you a license, a camera would still be no good for you. Why, Pasquale? Well, uh, I'm going to explain to you. It's all kinds of cameras. You see, for instance, it's a boxer camera. Uh -huh. You take a picture with this camera, you come out in the box, your mamas will think you're in jail. <laughs> Midget the cameras you can't use, that's only for people who's less than two feet tall. Oh, uh -huh. Then there's a fold in the camera, and that's the worst of all. Worst of all? Take your picture with a fold in the camera, your faces will come out and pushed in like an accordion. That's <laughs> oh, I never knew you knew so much. <laughs> I never knew before you knew so much about the camera. Oh, sure. Luigi, worst the thing about these little cameras is they all got a shutters. When you take a picture, you got to press the shutter. Shutter is a bad thing? Terrible. How much of your mom is going to see you with your face behind the Venetian blind? <laughs> <laughs> but, Pasquale, I'm going to have a picture for my mama Mia. What am I going to do? Well, it so happens, Luigi. I'm happen to notice in a newspaper advertisement for photographer. Very cheap, but just for you. Eh, uh, read it for yourself. All right. Why worry? Be sure. Have a picture taken only two dollars. Acme X-Ray Company. <laughs> hey, Pasquale, that just sound wonderful. I'm going to go right there. But, hey, you think I'm going to get a good picture for $2? Sure. Go, go, Luigi. Don't worry. You go there right now. I'm going to guarantee you you're going to get a picture like you've never got it before. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Luigi Bosco, and I'm coming here for a picture. Oh, certainly, certainly. We'll fill out your form later. My nurse is out to lunch. Oh. <laughs> That's a funny kind of photographer with a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Now, tell me, how do you feel? I'm a feel fine. How do you feel? Hmm. I feel fine, too. Huh. Now, Mr. Basco, I realize that some people don't like to talk, but I must know. Where do you have your pain? 
<laughs> I'm a got the no pain. Well, what are you suffering from? Not the suffering. You must be, otherwise you wouldn't have come to me for a picture. Oh, mommy, every other photographer is to say smile, and this one is to say suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Vasco, it seems we don't understand each other no. After all, you've come to me There must be some emergency about the picture That's right Well, now we're getting at it Tell me, have you had a break? Well, uh, like you say in America I'm going to never have a break A business is a terrible <laughs> No Now, how about a How about a dislocation? Who knows it? Maybe if I'm going to have a dislocation, the business would be better. <laughs> Mr. Basco, who sent you here? Pasquale. Oh, Dr. Pasquale from the medical building. No, plain of Pasquale from the spaghetti palace. <laughs> he wants your picture? Oh, no, no. He's a photo of my mama. Hey, you see how I'm dressed up especially for this picture? Look at the tie, huh? You think it's going to come out nice in the picture? Only if it has bones. <laughs> well, Mr. Vasco, enough questions. You want a picture taken? I'll take it. Good. Take off your clothes. <laughs> huh? Take what? off your clothes. Please, my mom has already got a baby picture of him. <laughs> I've been doing this work for 33 years. Now, take off your shirt. No. Be sensible. Do as I say. We'll get a perfect picture of your insides. <laughs> inside? Who wants to see the inside? My mama's only want to see the outside. <laughs> take off your shirt. Yeah. Now, you're one of those patients who's afraid to find out what's wrong with him. Now, swallow this. Look, what is it? It's a milkshake. Look. Please, just to take it a picture. I don't want the lunch. <laughs> Now, stand over here. Don't move. Hold your breath. I want to get that liquid perfectly. Mamma mia. I'm going to spend the money to go to photography to take off of my clothes and stand me behind a machine to go. But this is... And all you're going to be able to see is a picture of a milkshake. <laughs> Luigi, my... Hey, look at you. Face of white, the hair standing at tiptoe. Nose is looking out of your ear. What's the matter? You had a fight with a cement mixer? But Clary is worse than that. That a photographer I went to, he must be crazy. Huh? Liquids, liquids, liquids. That's all he's a know. He must think I'm an automobile because he's a put in at least a five gallon. <laughs> That's too bad. Oh, that's nothing, Pasquale. Then he's to take off my clothes, he's to lay me down. On my back, on my front, he's to take a picture of my feet, and my hands, and my arms, and my legs, and my chest, and my back, and my stomach. Pasquale, you don't believe this. But he's to take a picture of me everywhere but in my face. <laughs> that's too bad, Luigi. And that ain't enough. He's to try to sell me a set of dishes. What do you mean? He's to try to sell you a set of dishes. He's asking me how many plates I want. <laughs> uh, Luigi, all of this uh, for two dollars? <laughs> no, Pasquale. Look, look at this ability he's to give me. Let me see. Uh, complete the X-ray examination. A hundred dollars. Hey, Luigi, how are you going to pay all this money? I don't know, Pasquale. Looks like I'm going to never have a picture for my mom. Oh, yes, you are, Luigi. You know, pay this bill. Man, is sending you to jail. You finally going to have a picture for your mama. <laughs> all these are going to be little numbers dancing on the bottom. No, 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 Pasquale. Please are helping me. Sure, Luigi. I'm helping you. But there's only one little if. Pasquale... If you're thinking of what I'm thinking, is a bigger if. <laughs> Big, a little, is no difference. I'm going to call her now. Rosa! 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 You call me, Papa! <laughs> yes, 
you, my little butterball. <laughs> Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. <laughs> Rosa, soon are you and the Luigi going to be taking a wedding of pictures and the preachers are going to make you one. What do you say to that? Luigi, which half you want to be? <laughs> <laughs> well, my two children, and now that everything is all a set, uh, Mr. Basco. Come on, Mamma the milk is shake a man. <laughs> Mr. Basco, I've made a terrible mistake. If you remember, my nurse was out to lunch. She usually loads the x-ray machine, and, and I thought she did, and, well, we'll just have to take those pictures over again. Mamma mia. Well, uh, uh, don't worry, Dr. Luigi's going to be happy to go back with you. No, 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 thanks. I'm changing my mind about those pictures. I don't want them. Uh, don't let them get away, Doctor. Sue them for $100. No, indeed. The whole thing is due to my negligence. And if Mr. Basco is willing to forget the whole thing, so am I. I'm willing. Then I'm willing. Luigi, I'm willing, too. Oh, shut up, you <laughs> Come on, Luigi. Let's go home. So, Mamma Mia, was a plenty of trouble to get a picture for you. But like you can see by looking inside this letter, I'm a finally got the one. I'm a no one to trouble anybody. So I'm a went back to this little boat to take my own picture for 15 cents. This time, I'm a make sure it's not going to come out a picture of just my shoes. So I'm a turn the little chair down, down, down as far as it's a go. Still, I'm a got the nothing for you. Because all that's come out is a picture of my hat. <laughs> nice hat to her, Mamma Mia. <laughs> so then Schultz is a lend me his camera. We got the Horowitz's friend, the photographer with a little horse. He's a snap it. And I was a spend almost the whole day for this picture. Mamma Mia, you know, believe it, this is it take almost the four hours to make it that a horse smile. <laughs> The eleventh son of Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, and Jody Gilbert as Rosa. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Bob Stevenson speaking. For Fun on the Campus, 1949 style, be sure to hear Young Love on most of these same CBS stations tomorrow night and every Monday. Young Love brings you the hilarious adventures of a young married couple trying to get an education in a college that forbids student marriages. Now stay tuned for the first of this summer's madcap adventures with Corliss Archer. Corliss Archer follows immediately on most of the same CBS stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.